A Kimball Food City employee says he was on a break when a man put him in a headlock in the parking lot. The incident happened a month ago. The employee tells Local 3's Dallas Payton he's still shaken up. Dallas. Greg, Cindy, that is right. Brett Budram is still shaking up now. He was making his way out of this side of the food city and walked into his car that was in this immediate parking lot. And there was a car uh, parked on his left side of him uh, with the cup in it. And according to Kimball Police report that uh, as he was squeezing his way into his car, he said sorry and uh, things just turned left from there. Butroom says the woman in the driver's seat shot him a disapproving look. He thought the situation was over until he saw the woman's husband get out of the passenger seat. Her husband walked around uh, their vehicle and looked in my window and cursed at me and told me that I should have said it, excuse me. And uh, then he walked away and I, um, I, I stuck my head out and I said, well, I'm sorry, sir, but I did say excuse me. Butroom explained that the man started to walk away but then turned back around and started yelling again. I was terrified. I didn't know what was going on. And he, he reached into my car and uh, I tried to like, close, like, I don't know, I tried to like lock my door or something, but he, he got angry and he just, he, he grabbed the door handle and pulled, he just ripped the door open and then he dragged me out of the car. The man then put butt room in a headlock. I tried to scream for help and no sounds came out. I was just, I was that, I couldn't breathe. It was just scary. Butroom says he was thrown against the cart collector and onto the ground. A nearby man was able to break up the altercation. Butroom's mom was scared when she learned about it all. Just how vulnerable he was at that time. He wasn't suspecting anything to happen. Not knowing if the guy will show back up, Butroom is doing what he has to, to feel safe. My assistant manager usually walks out uh, with me whenever we have to go home or sometimes she'll walk out with me during breaks um, and I just, yeah, I just, mm. <laughs> it's, it is spooky. Now, Kimball police tell me they know who the man is, but because he lives in the county, Marion County Sheriff's Office will have to serve the warrant. Now, he also, that warrant can also be served if he was, if the man was pulled over and they uh, searched him and uh, realized that he had a warrant under his name now. And uh, Food City also sent us a, a short statement saying that, uh, as always, Food City stands ready to cooperate with local law enforcement, and that's all they had to add to the matter. Now, we're reporting live in Kimball for Local 3 News. I'm Dallas Payton.